Good evening everybody, hello and welcome along to today's live edition of Tom Plays Games. It is the Thursday evening, it's the 22nd of September 2022 and we are live uh, for the next 45 minutes or so. I always say that and then uh, we normally end up here being here for two hours or something daft like that. I don't know, who knows, we might, we might try today and do an extended episode to get to the end of this there scenario. We are in Croaking Hospital today and uh, things, I say this, I've said this for the last few episodes, things are going well. <sighs> Maybe we'll finally clear it today, who knows? Um, we'll have a look at the uh, little scenario status screen in just a second. But yes, I think finally after a spate of terrible management decisions at previous hospitals, we've finally put all of our lessons in one box and come up with a good one, I think. 
I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it in just a second. Uh, possibly for the last time in Croaking Hospital. And then who knows what comes next? I don't know. I don't think I've ever got this far in the game before. So I'm pretty excited. Um, if you're watching live today, uh, I'd love to hear from you. You can get in touch, as always, of course, by dropping me a message in the live chat. Just tap that live chat button right about there. Say hi. Uh, let me know that you're out there today. Let me know what you think of today's episode. And of course... Um, I'll uh, keep my beady eye on the messages down there and read some out as we go throughout today's stream So keep them coming in of course and uh, if you do enjoy things today Why not give this video a like tap that thumbs up give it a like and get Subscribed to the channel so you get every episode I do all the games I play popping up into your YouTube feed And if you turn on your notifications, you know their drill you get the little pop-up reminder to pop up and remind you like that uh, Whenever I go live Very good all right, no mess in. Let's get straight into it. The game is paused, but let's unpause the game. Bring in the funky MIDI beats. And there we go. There's the game. Ah, theme hospital. What a glorious place this is. Okay, I'm turning that down a little bit in my earphones. Uh, this, of course, is Croaking Hospital. If you've uh, no, not been familiar with the uh, setup that we've got going on here before, uh, you can see um, this is our uh, main entrance, isn't it, here? This is like our main entrance, and then we've got a little reception area down here. And then I've kind of really tried to kind of split the hospital into diagnosis, uh, treatment clinics and facilities so uh, we've got diagnosis I think kind of up here uh, spilling up into this area we've got clinics in this area here uh, we've got a like a surgery down here so we've got treatment um, pharmacy and whatnot here and then I've kept I've kept the uh, the facilities the staff facilities in a totally separate building as to not take up all the space because of course we've learned in previous scenarios that if you've got an epidemic uh, the worst thing that can happen is people going out of the hospital, uh, even even just to visit another building within the hospital. It's like game over, health inspector. So we've uh, we've tried to stay clear of uh, allowing anybody, and I repeat, anybody access to uh, other buildings. In fact, you'll see here we've blocked all the doors off. Uh, I've literally just left that door open just so that the, uh, the, the the helicopter people can get in and the staff can obviously get to the staff room down here. Uh, let's have a look at the, um, the status screen. Um, I don't know, we might do it today, I don't know. We've got to get our cash reserves up to half a million. Currently at just over 200,000, so uh, there's a bit of uh, progress to go, but everything else is looking rosy. Reputation is sky high. Our uh, share of visitors is reasonably high. Uh, our cure rate is... I, we'll definitely do that today. We'll definitely get 600 people cured. And uh, our hospital worth is through the roof. And look, everybody is well impressed with this hospital. Everyone's super happy. They're reasonably... Reasonably not thirsty. And they're reasonably uh, okay temperature-wise. So everything is looking good. And the year is 2004. 2004, what a class year that was. Um, so... Essentially, we're just babysitting a reasonably well-run hospital today. That's the trick. Let's see how we go. Uh, Ben's in the chat. Ben says, uh, glad to be back for another Fume Hospital stream. Ben, I recognise you from last time. Welcome back. It's been a few weeks. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to turn the game down. Because the, uh, the announcing lady is just getting a little bit loud for my liking. Um, right, what... Well, well, I actually don't know what to do today. I feel like we just got to, like, just check up on things. It's very rare that we've got so much cash in our bank account. Um, people, are they queuing? What are they queuing for? Are oh, they queuing for the ultra scan? So we need to we need to spread some doctors around, I think. We need to uh, get some doctors out of the training room, get them into some of the other rooms that are available. So these are all training. The skill level is not great. So I'm gonna, uh, I can't really take any of these out, can I? No, they've all got to stay there. Um, hang on, speed down. Where's he going? Consultant psychiatrist, you're off to Ultrascan. There we go. Um, Hang on, we've got a queue for the uh, we've got a queue for the GP office, and there's no we've got no GPs in here. By fluke, have we got any uh, decent staff on the roll? No. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a couple more in the training room though, because we uh, 
seems to have a lot of room in this training room. Get them all in. Oh, that's why we've got a load of room in the training room, because everyone is here. <laughs> it's like the Smash Brothers Ultimate of staff rooms. Um, he's alright, isn't he? He's a decent surgeon. I'm gonna take this guy... I'm gonna take this guy and pop him in the GP's office. Where are we? You'll do. Uh, ben says, have I got any favourite songs from 2004? Well, ha! Huh, funny you should ask. 2004, for me, is a, a remarkable year for music, because 2004 is the year where I started doing internet radio. Back in the day. Before I did YouTube, I, I was an internet radio broadcaster. I used the word broadcaster very lightly, because there was rarely more than five people listening. It's a bit like YouTube now, isn't it, really? There's rarely more than ten people watching. Um, but yeah, so 2004, I actually remember quite a lot of music, because I would listen to a lot of music being on the radio. Um, although now you're going to ask me, like, what particular songs I like from 2004. And I'm going to come up a bit stuck now. <laughs> Yeah, McFly. McFly was a good band from 2004. They were from around there, and Busted was still around, weren't they, at that point? Um, what else was around in 2004? I can't remember. You know what? Actually, having said having said, I was on the radio, and I remember lots of music from then. I can't remember. I'm sure it would all flood back instantly if um, if I heard stuff. Um, where can I put this guy? Let's put him in there. There we go. Um, oh really? Oh interesting! Oh Ben! What a... So you actually know me from internet radio? Wow! My reach is is, is, is still far and promising there. Okay, uh, no I don't do any more radio unfortunately now. I, uh, I hung up my headphones um, a few years ago. So at the start of the pandemic, obviously everybody had loads of time on their hands didn't they and i did a little bit of radio again because we relaunched the station that i was involved in and then i think i just got a bit bored of it i found <laughs> i found it was a little bit just like i don't know i don't know i didn't have as much of a love for it as i did back in 2004 so i ended up doing the youtube stuff instead because at least when you're doing radio you've got the songs to play and you've got to do a little bit of chat in between haven't you well, I found, I found that I had nothing to talk about. It's probably because it was during the pandemic and we didn't go anywhere and we didn't do anything. But I found that the obvious successor to that was playing games on YouTube because you talk about the game that you're playing and it's like kind of constant content. So um, that's why I prefer doing this now. But I have fond memories of my many years doing radio. It didn't really go that far though. <laughs> Um, let's get this guy out of here. He's too overpowered for uh, the slack tongue. Oh, electrolysis, get over here. That's this one, isn't it? Yes. In you go. Uh, we need to do some machinery check, actually. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by talk of the good old days. DNA fixer. That's one of these, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't... Oh. Oh, it won't let me select it. Maybe you don't repair this. Oh, bizarre. Um, jelly valve. Right. Okay. Let's get him. Let's get him out. You notice how I keep like taking the doctors out of the clinics? It's a little trick that I learned a little while ago because they're kind of wasted in the clinics. They might as well just roam the corridors and wait for a call of duty. Um, he's still waiting for somebody. There you go. Oh, hair restorer. Hang on, that one. That one's got a queue, right? Hang on, where's me? Where's me, Doctor Faria? That isn't the name of a doctor, by the way. Doctor Faria. Um, doctor, doctor. Any good doctors in here that aren't like dropping dead of tiredness? No, no, no. You'll do. Here, what what was it? Hair restorer? Oh, of course, the handyman's on his way, so I have to wait for that. Um Oh, James is in the chat. Hi James. 
James, uh, of course, Green Day, American Idiot. Yes, that was 2004, wasn't it? So 2004, actually, I think in the cupboards up above my desk here, um, as well as all my old games, I'm pretty sure I've got loads of old CD singles, which um, I'm pretty sure they're all from like that 2004 era, because I used to actually like finish like a half day at school and go to HMV. Uh, but yeah, Green Day. I think I've got a Green Day single up there. I don't know which one it is from around that era. No. Um, nobody came for the scanner. Doctor, the scanner room, oh, now they are. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got an emergency on the books. Uh, three people with spare ribs. That's a surgery thing. Yes, I reckon we can do that. Let's just quickly... Oh, there we go. Surgeon. <laughs> Surgeon. Quick, pay him more money. Um, oh, we need another one. Oh, and he's really tired. Right, hang on a minute. We need to concentrate on getting this um, surgery business sorted, don't we? Oh, no. Right, he's on his way to the staff room, so let's get him in here. Oh, it's pandemonium in here, look. I think we need another staff room. <laughs> Where are all the surgeons? It's all it's all gone a bit awry now. Um, no, you're not one. And you're not queuing, so get out of there. Let's just, um... It's kind of cheating by putting it on really slow mode, isn't it? But what's he waiting for? Pharmacy. No, thank you. Right, repair that. Are you a surgeon? Oh, you are, but you're really tired. Right, hang on. We can supercharge these surgeons in the staff room. And then we'll bring them back. It's very busy in this bit, isn't it? Why is it so busy in this bit? Oh, psychiatry is pretty busy. We might need another psychiatrist. Right. Um, any, any more surgeons? I thought we had quite a few surgeons in the hospital. Where are they? They're not here. Uh, forget it. Forget it. Is that repaired? No, there's somebody on the way. Um... I just heard the call out. Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Right, uh, surgeons, surgeons, surgeons. You're a doctor. You're a rubbish doctor as well, get in there. Um, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, my mouse is doing that thing where it just scrolls up. Ah! Oh, no, how do I fix this? <laughs> there we go, fixed it. <laughs> no, I've broken it again. Oh, it keeps doing this. ba 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 there we go. Fixed. Uh, oh, you're a surgeon, but you're really tired. You're a consultant. Consultant. Where are all the surgeons? Oh, I should have checked this whole surgery thing before I uh, let them all in. Oh my god, and the queue for surgery is absolutely massive. Um, right. They must... Um, they're, they're not too tired, this one. Let's get him in there. Let's take him out. Surgeon. Surgeon. Oh, I'll tell you what, you're just a consultant. Let's get you teaching in the staff room, in the training room. Where's the other surgeon? There was another surgeon in here a second ago. I'm sure there was. I just put two in here. What? <laughs> consultant. Doctor. Hang on, I'd be better looking at the staff list when I write. No, no, no. We're looking for the surgeon's knife. Oh, oh, wrong neck. You're a surgeon. Where are you? You're in the staff room. Oh, you took. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, he's really tight. No, I think that's the one we just put in there. You're, you are the surgeon at the moment. You're the only one we've got. Right, oh, you're the other one. You'll have to do. Out you come. Doctor, attend immediately in cardio, please. He's pretty uh, on the ropes as well, isn't he? Right, um, where are... These are the emergency patients. Get these to the front of the queue. Come on. What an emergency. Um... 
Hi, Super Pikmin Bros. Hello. You join us at the moment of peril and pandemonium in the theme hospital world. And uh, Ben had a massive box of CDs for Music Magpie a few months ago and raised 32 quid. That's not bad going. I've heard people like only raising a, a you know, like a little bit of shrapnel from Music Magpie. So that's not bad. Um, oh, we need to, uh, we need to get, we need to get some more doctors out and about here. Where are all the good doctors? There must be some somewhere, surely. Oh, hang on, we've got this whole research department. Why don't we get some out of here? Let's get one out of here. There you go, blow to your head cured. Is that a slack tonger? It is. Uh... We'll take the guy from Hair Restoration, pop him in there. Doctor needed in Hair Restoration. Now these guys, these are all just loitering here with nothing to do. So let's get these guys out. Pop him in there. Oh, there's somebody coming there, but he is a bit tired, so I'm going to take him out. It's, it's very fiddly, kind of micromanaging the staff like this. But it does get you the best results. I promise you. Um... You're not a very good doctor. I'm sure we've got some all right doctors in the training room that I just keep putting in here just to kind of make them even better. Dun, 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 dun. No, no. You. Oh, that's a good surgeon. You're coming to surgery. Um. There's one, there's one surgeon in there, isn't there? There is about to kind of retire from from surgery and go back to the staff room. So let's just let them do this patient. Come on. Chop, chop. Literally. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. I will take him to the staff room. Come on, come on. Actually, he's a consultant, so I'm going to put him in the training room, and then when he gets too tired, he'll uh, pop in there and then sort himself out. Uh, staff room, uh, training room for you. How are these guys getting on? You're okay. Let's get you back in the training room, sir. Let's get you not in the training room, but in the staff room. got somebody on the way to inflation. I'll just uh, do a little handyman run around here. Oh, we needed another psychiatrist, didn't we? Yeah, we definitely definitely need another psychiatrist. Um, this guy is a psychiatrist, so let's just let him do the ultra scan and then I'm gonna whip him out and pop him in there. Um, do, 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 do. Have we have we cleared the emergency? Doctor wanted in ultra scan. Oh. What happened there? Did we kill somebody? Oh yeah. I think I've just seen the angel. Oh gutted. Oh well. We might not have got the bonus, but at least we got the um go at least we got the uh the the kind of money from serving them i i just noticed that there was loads of rubbish all over the floor and then suddenly we got an epidemic uh, an epidemic of serious radiation five thousand dollar fine let's attempt to cover up i feel like we've not had one of these in ages uh serious radiation is pretty obvious to spot because they glow green um he's waiting for the psychiatrist so let's bump him to the front of the queue uh, okay, she's on the way to decontamination. That's good. Uh, he's got nobody waiting for him at all. So why don't we just pop him in the uh, in there? It's bizarre. Oh, we've got a few people down here as well. I think these are actually queuing for decontamination. We just need oh, we need somebody in here, don't we? We haven't got anyone in. Um, doctor, attend and decontamination. Are you good doctors? Yes, you are. In you go. Right. Oh, I said uh, I was building another psychiatrist, didn't I? 
I'll cast Psychiatry as Diagnosis, even though it does a bit of treatment as well. So let's put this up here. Uh, mm, let's make it a big one. Why not? Uh, door. Da, 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 da. Yes, I agree, Ben. That's uh, one of my bugbears about this game as well. And I guess it's part of the kind of strategy of the game. If uh, if a room explodes, it becomes an obsolete space. You can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, that's why I always try and leave loads of empty space in the hospital, because inevitably things blow up, <laughs> as we've seen many a time in this whole series. Uh, and then we need to kind of... Um, Two skeletons, you know, two skeletons, uh, and then yeah, we need to rebuild them. There we go. We've we got any um. Ooh, there we go. A good doctor. Let's pop him there. Uh, and a not good doctor. Let's have him down here as well. In the big training room. Um, where's this doctor wandering to? I have no idea. He looks like he'd be good in surgery because he's a consultant. Um, let's just let them take care of this. No! Right, hang on, which one's the junior here? Consultant, surgeon, no. Two surgeons required in operating theatre. You, come here, hang on. Surgeon. Right, hang on. Get you two in there. You are coming for more training. <laughs> Boom. Uh, oh, we need an actual, like... Have we got a consultant surgeon somewhere? Yes, that one. I'm going to have him there and then uh, I just saw that somebody was on their way to cardiogram so let's pop him in there oh hello you're a little sneaky uh, contagious person oh no you thank you um well let's just have another look around see if there's any more uh, we haven't actually put anybody in this psychiatry have we Oh, a surgeon with a uh, consultancy. There you go. You're in there now, for now. Uh, another surgeon, but a junior. I'll take him anyway, because if he's uh, got a surgery thing, he's useful to me. Get him in there. You're a consultant. Um, okay. Consultant researcher psychiatrist. I think he belongs in there. We normally have him there, I think. Uh, oh, we need somebody in hair restoration, though. No. Uh, you? Oh, he's a psychiatrist, actually. We'll just quickly, uh, quickly deal with this. Oh, he was on the way there. Where have you come from? Go back to where you came from. There. Right, and then we're going to take him out and we'll put him in our new psychiatry. Whoa. There we go. Oh, let's put some benches down, obviously. And then well, we need to check on the uh, epidemic, don't we? Make sure everything is in hand there. I'm going to assume that I'm going to put another building there. So, uh, another room there. So, I'm going to curve that around. And maybe put a plant. Um, hey, look at the bank balance. 300,000 now. That was only 200,000 when we started today's episode, wasn't it? That's not done too bad so soon. Um, radiation. You. No, you. Oh, you can go for treatment. What are you doing in there? Get to treatment. Uh, this, this lady. She's on her way for treatment. Perfect. Nobody up here has serious radiation. That's good. Um, 
Oh yeah, good point. Is all the machinery tickety blue? It is now. That's okay. That's okay. What are these queuing for? Psychiatry. Oh, there's only four people queuing for that now. That's good. That's good. Um, surgeons required in the operating theatre. Where did we just put that surgeon? He was in the GP's office. There. Have him. Uh, in the little surgeon waiting area. Doctor required in GP's office. Oh. Why can't I put him in there? Oh, because the handyman's on the way to maintain the, um... There we go. It's annoying that you can't put doctors in buildings when they're uh, being maintained. Um... Okay, that's all looking good down there. He's on his way there. We need somebody in the bloaty head room. Uh, any decent doctors that I can just whip out of here? Save me the trouble of... There we go, he'll do. You can be our inflation master. Um, electrolysis. We need somebody in electrolysis. Oh. A rat. Uh, anybody, like, twiddling the thumbs idly? No. Oh, hang on, another uh, infected person. What are you doing? Get it, Get away! Get down to decontamination. Quick, we've only got... Oh my god, there's loads. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, I take my eye off the ball here, haven't I? Is she on her way? Yes. Where's he going? Hang on, where are you... Where are you going? Where did we need somebody? A second ago. I can't remember. Get back in the training room. I wish there was a way you could just send all idle doctors to the training room. Um, right, where's this guy going? He's on his way to decontamination. Perfect. Right, let's just have a quick scout around because we've got one last chance, I think, in hair restoration. to scoop up any more serious radiation players, patients, even <laughs> players. Um, no. Shouldn't be any down there. That's staff quarters. None around there. You can go in there. There's just the two patients, I think, in here. Hopefully we can just quickly get these in before the health inspector turns up. Come on, come on. Stand up, get in, get in. Where is that? Where's the health inspector? Oh, is this him? No, he was the he was the visitor. This is the health inspector coming in now. I think we might have just done this one. Quick, cure, cure, cure. Yes. Come on. Boom! Look at that! We got like 20k. Or 11k. Fair enough. That'll do. Phew! Uh, this guy looks like he's dying, which is a shame. Oh, it's because the key for the pharmacy is so big. We could do with another pharmacy, couldn't we? Let's get another pharmacy online. Uh, down here, maybe? Yeah, perfect. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, pharmacies are uh, good because uh, nurses are pretty plentiful in this <laughs> Nurses are pretty plentiful in this game. Or they're not. Um, I think we've actually got quite a lot of nurses anyway that are just idle. Like this one I think is idle. So let's pick her up and bring her down to our secondary pharmacy. Um... Benches, could do with some more cleaners. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just dropped him in the surgery room. Um, I 
Um, do I? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no! Oh, the fracture clinic is no more. Ah, oh, balls. Now he turns up. Oh, we probably lost a nurse in the process. Yeah, we did, because we had five nurses, didn't we? Oh, well, that's fine. As I say, nurses are reasonably plentiful, and we do have another fracture clinic anyway, so uh, that's fine. Hang on a minute. I just had a, uh, a bullfrog in my throat. Um, uh, sorry, I was just reading your message, Ben, and then I got distracted by the emergency. Uh, do I ever stream Two Pond Hospital? Um... No, I haven't streamed it yet. It's on the radar, though. Um, we played Two Point Campus on Free Play Friday uh, a couple of months ago, and I really enjoyed that. And it, made, it reminded me of Two Point Hospital, and I, I would love to stream that. Um, what I tend to do, though, games that I like to play in a full-on series, I wait until I've finished like a similar game before I start like another game like that. So. You know, so we don't end up with like four different Zelda games on the go or uh, or whatnot. So probably by the time we finish this, which I don't know how many episodes we've got left in this, um, we'll we'll kind of pick up with another kind of management sim, and whether that's Two Point Hospital or something else, I don't know. But yeah, we will. I definitely it's on the radar to play. Just probably not for a little while yet. <laughs> um, oh, we're all queuing for Ultra Scan. You got yourself a job. There you go. Um, I was talking to I was talking to James actually, who was in the chat earlier or offline the other day about my intentions for all the different games I want to play on this channel. I have so many dreams of playing various like Zelda games, like, but <laughs> it takes months and possibly even years for us to ever complete anything on the channel because we only ever like stream anything like every few weeks. So. Um, I don't know how I don't know how I can get around that without like just like upping the amount of streams I do or lowering the number of games I play at the same time. I guess that would help. Um, but essentially, I've got enough uh, I've got enough games in the backlog to be able to stream till I'm about 80 years old, probably at this rate. I'm not quite sure uh, if people want to watch like a, an 80 year old man play games, but I don't know. There's all sorts of niche corners of the internet, aren't there? I did also say as well, it'd be interested. Um, it'd be interesting to like look back in time, like in in 10, 15 years, and just like wind back to some of my early streams and go, oh my god, look what you looked like in like 2020, or whatever. Um, oh, the ultra scan needs repairing, doesn't it? There we go. I'm just gonna take him out of there for now. No. 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 It's a trap. Don't go in there. Wait till it's repaired. There we go. Um, what do we need more of? We've solved the pharmacy issue, I think. Yes. Surgery. Another operating theatre would be handy, actually. And we probably do have enough surgeons now. Oh, we've got no teacher. Where's the consultant surgeon? Is that him? Oh, actually, no, that guy that we had a second ago was a consultant, surgeon, psychiatrist, everything, wasn't he? This guy. No, not that guy. Oh, no, I've lost him. Where are you? Oh, man. <laughs> Where's he gone? You get in the staff room. Where's that good? Where's that good doctor gone? Is it you? Oh, it is consultant, surgeon, psychiatrist. Let's put him in the training room because then we can train on psychiatry as well. Uh, yeah, another surgery. Um, I tell you what, then. Why do we expand this way and open up this wing? Um, what's the danger in that? There might be the danger. Oh, if we block the door, I was going to say there might be the danger that patients might walk this way, but. I didn't even look how much that was. Uh, if we block this off with the toilets, like so, like the biggest toilets you've ever seen, um, Doctor needed in Slap Tom Clinic. this is 
like the, the biggest toilets I've ever made in this game. Da 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 da. Button there. One, two, three, four. And then. Oh, sorry, I'm just placing my toilets. Hang on, hang on. I've got too many toilets now. How can you not have too many toilets? Uh, plants. What have I done? Oh, there we go. Put a bin there. A plant there. Radiated there. Another one. I don't need any more bins. Uh, that'll do. Let's. In fact, let's take that one and bin that. Oh, no! oh, I always press that button by accident. Balls. Start again. Sink, 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 sink. Um. So. If... <laughs> Balls up already. Here. Pick up. Put that there. Just make some little rows of toilets. Like so. That'll do. There's enough toilets there for everyone. Uh, that, that, that. A bin. Put a bin there. And plant. Plant. Done. Epidemic. It's broken heart and it's an $8,000 fine. But let's, uh, let's try and cure it. Broken heart. What, what do we cure that with? Broken wind. Broken heart. Surgery, of course. Uh, so, where do we see a broken heart patient? Oh, there's a few of these, isn't there? Uh, what are you queuing for? Uh, you are eligible for uh, curing, so let's send you straight for cure. for those people before was oh my god there's loads actually you can go for a cure and you're at the front of that queue okay right that's there's a lot of broken heart going on in here oh none up there which is fine and these are all well self-contained i think at the moment nothing there that's no one's expecting that so let's get you out of here pop you in the staff room for a bit uh, why do I block the entrances again? Okay, so I block the entrances because when you have an epidemic like we've got at the moment, you've got to make sure that the patients don't leave the hospital building. Um, otherwise, the health inspector gets called immediately. So I always think this is a bit of a bug because surely if they're still in the hospital, they're in the hospital. It's only when they like go off that they would be contagious to the general public. Um, but... Um, you've got to make sure that nobody leaves if they're contagious. So if all these doors were open and let's say my surgery was here, the patient might decide, oh, I'm contagious. I'm going to go to the operating theatre and they'd go this way and down here. Whereas the way I've run the game in this particular hospital, that door's blocked, that door's blocked, that door's blocked, that door's blocked, that door's blocked. So literally the only way in the hospital is this door. And if they want to go into any of the other buildings, they've got to go internally. So that's why I've done that. The exception being, of course, this building, which is my staff area. There is no reason for any patient to go down there because it's the staff room, the training and the research department. So I do leave that one door there open for them to go between there. But in the pathfinding, nobody should, in theory, say, oh, I want to go to the operating theatre. I'm going to go this way. Uh, nobody should do that so that should cover me and we've run we've run with that for the last couple of uh, scenarios and it seems to have worked obviously different scenarios have um different layouts so sometimes you can't do it but it's worked quite well for us lately um i was gonna build another surgery anyway wasn't i another operating theater and it makes total sense to do it now Especially seeing as though we've got the broken heart thing. So let's um, keep this guy close because he's obviously our chief surgeon. And let's quickly throw up um, the surgery. There we go. Don't go anywhere, you. Quick, quick, do this before he goes. 
Jellyfan. That's a speed build. Uh, bin. Done. And you're in. Right. Uh, we need another surgeon. And then we need to keep an eye on patients in this queue. I see none of them actually need... Oh, no! <gasps> They've got to go to the ward first, haven't they? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, this one's going to be a tricky one. Um, I need another surgeon. You guys surgeons? No. Oh, that guy is. Hang on, you get in there. That's a handyman. Uh, he's barely good. Let's see if there's a better one. Uh, we're looking for surgeon, 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 surgeon. Oh, trust him. Trust him to be decent, but really tired. Surgeon. Oh, he's good. Oh, we'll take that one. Here we go. Two surgeons required in operating theatre. Done. Oh, uh, we could. I guess we could build another ward opposite, couldn't we? And then that's increasing our ward capacity as well. Station bed. It is uh, it, one of the features I miss from Two Point Hospital is the fact that you can just like copy and paste rooms. Uh, you can't do that in here. <laughs> Nobody decided that was a thing back in 19 whatever. Uh, put that there. I'm running out of room. That'll do. Four bed ward. And there's my nurse to be in there. Uh, I'm just gonna put some benches down the one side, put a drinks machine there. Right, we desperately need to figure out how we can get all these people through here, don't we? Uh, where are the other They're all queued for that, aren't they? They're all queued for that. No one's queued for that. So you can come out of there and go in the ultra scan room for a sec. Um, nobody down here that's infected. That needs repairing. So does that. Where are all... Oh, they... Hang on, is she... In, she's infected. I think she's on her way to something else. We'll come back to her. There's a few around here, aren't there? They're all at the front of the queues. Are they all at the front of the queue for things that are actually got doctors in? Yes, they are. Is there a queue for the ward? There is. But here, we can push these guys to this ward, because I don't think the queue for this ward is... No, it's nowhere near as bad. And then same, actually, on the operating theatre. I'm just going to move a couple of patients to this theatre. Right there, there we go, right. Uh, where? What happened to this patient that just wandered up this way a second ago? Where's she gone? Oh! Oh no, what's gonna what's exploding? What's exploding? What is it? What is it? Where is it? <laughs> Frantically looking for machinery that might explode. Can't see it anywhere. Where is it? Is it that? Could be that. That's looking unhealthy. What else is there? There is nothing else! Oh no, you're needed. Um, what else could explode? These already had exploded. That's not exploding. That's not, but I'll page somebody to fix it. Same with that. That's not bad. That's got somebody on the way to fix it. Is it the scanner? Oh, there's loads. Oh, it's that. It's the ultra scanner. You know what? I'm going to replace it because it only costs 6,000. 
Um, there's actually loads of diagnosis we've not built yet, isn't there? There's the blood machine, the x-ray. Maybe we should get some of that online. Oh, balls. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hang on. Get all staff out of the rooms if they're not needed. You're not needed in there. Get out of there. Uh, you're not needed in there. Get out of there. <laughs> Doctor, attend in the scanner room, please. There's probably going to be another one in a second, isn't there? So bear with for that. Um, oh, God, everything's going on. On way to cardiogram. Oh, she's going to be she's going to be a troublemaker. I can tell. The queue for cardio is enormous as well. Is that the same woman? Oh! There goes the inflation machine. Get him out, get him out. I'm going to replace that. It's cheap. It'll do. Oh, the operating theatres. I've not checked the operating theatres. I can't select it. Ah. <laughs> I love this calm music in the background. You can go for treatment, mate. What are you queuing for? And relax. Right, it's usually two in a row, so uh, that should be what should be it. Oh, oh, the hair restorer is gone. <laughs> Did you notice the hair? The hairy man just had uh, the, had a slack tongue at the end. Oh man, we probably lost the doctor in that as well. I reckon. Gutted. Page everybody to fix these. We've got somebody on that. Somebody's on that already. Operating theatres, are they okay? Oh, that's that's about to go. Oh yeah, we're fuming. We're fuming. Doctor required in decontamination. I'm gonna buy a new one. It's money well spent. Oh no, what's going now? What's going now? I've just replaced everything. What could possibly be exploding? <laughs> I'm totally lost. What was it? Oh, it's that. There you go. Right. Oh my god. Everything is going wrong now. So, hang on. We've got the cardio. The woman queuing for cardio. We need to get her through. Is she, is she being called up yet? Oh, somebody else snuck in. Um, what about all these people down here? Are these all in the queue for being treated? Queuing for the ward. Oh, man. Oh, there's loads of people queuing for the ward. Here, there's a secret ward. Come to the secret ward. I don't think we're we're going to succeed in this one. <laughs> in this epidemic. Uh, we've discovered bloaty head. Hang on, we can uh, we can build a clinic for that. Um, <laughs> this whole block is like almost decimated. Uh, I did build this with this in mind. If I uh, if I remember rightly, clinics uh, inflation. I made it so that we would be able to at some point make a bloaty head room here. There's a bench there though, hang on, let's just get rid of that. Because I knew this would happen. Uh, it'll have to be like that, won't it? Oh, it's going to block off other rooms. Well, it's not, because it's not a real room. It's a lie. Oh, 
Oh, for crying out loud. What doesn't it like? Well, that's a terrible room. Oh, it likes that. Okay. There's something about that it doesn't like, isn't it? Okay, well, let's put it like that then. Right, uh, that there. That'll barely... I don't think this will even fit in. There we go. We'll hardly get anything in here, but that'll do. Doctor required an inflator room. Well, let me put that there. There's something... Is there something there? There we go. That'll do. There's plenty of seats there to say that there aren't any rooms. Um, we'll also... Oh, hang on. What's happened to that patient? Oh, she's there. Oh, she's still queuing for cardiogram. Well, it's too late because um, the epidemic is uh, is upon us. Hey, we've got enough cash. We can ride this. Hopefully. Uh, we've got an emergency as well. Seven people with alien DNA. That is what that DNA fixer section of the hospital does. 14 grand. We can do this. This is simple. This is just two rooms that we've got. Um, hang on. We need some more doctors now, don't we? I have a feeling we probably got had some doctors be killed. So I'm going to purchase some more doctors. I think we also lost a nurse, didn't we? But I should have to wait. Um, I've got any decent doctors in here. Oh, you're not too bad, actually. Why are you in training? Um. No, so I'll put in there. We're going to need some good doctors for uh, doing the DNA fixer, aren't we? Staff announcement. Incoming patients with alien but there we go, one that... Oh, hang on, they need to be... They need to be researchers in this room, don't they? That's a thing, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Where did I... What are we doing here? Um... <laughs> Alien DNA. This treatment requires a machine. I thought... I thought alien DNA required somebody with research. Have I... I might have mixed that up with something else. Uh, you can come out. I might be thinking of... I might be thinking of something in Two Point Hospital, maybe. I don't know. Uh, sadly, it looks like here uh, we failed that epidemic. I noticed our reputation has tumbled. Oh my god, it really has tumbled as well, hasn't it? Must be 700. It's currently 704. Blimey neck. Okay. We could do with preventing more epidemics then. Don't know how we'll do that. Uh... Got two people queuing for that. We've got some doctors that are just idle doing nothing. I've got so many in the training room, haven't I? Doctor required in decontamination. Oh, it's the end of year awards. Okay. Um, it's looking uh, reasonably good here, isn't it? We've had 831 visitors, 27 of which have died, but 683 have been cured. That's a good ratio. Um, in terms of awards... Uh, we lost 25 rep for our well, not well maintained machinery, which I can understand because we just had loads of things explode. But we're clean. Uh, we sold a lot of soft drinks. Uh, we've got a high reputation, and we did have a high reputation. It's the most valuable hospital, good cure to death ratio, and we have the best reputation. Very good. Cash injection there. Right. Um, where's the. Um, where is the emergency? We're going to fail another emergency here because the patients haven't even turned up. Oh, they're here. They're here. 
Are they split amongst? They are. Very good. Get them in quickly. Right. Um, we need somebody in the bloaty head room. I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start taking some doctors that are all right out of here. Because um, we're a bit short on docks, it seems. I don't know why. Uh, you're all right. You can come out. You can be our new head of bloaty head. Head, head of bloaty head. Here they come. I like watching this one. This should be an easy money spinner. <laughs> if they can get in the door. It's like two, 2,800 each as well. Oh man, I'm so confident. I think we're going to do this today. Oh! What's blowing up? It's not you. It's not you. But let's, let's repair you anyway. It's not you. It's you. Let's replace that because that keeps blowing up. Uh, that might just want some uh, maintenance. Main maintenance. And some maintenance on that as well, please. Another happy customer. There's two people expected there, so I'll keep that open. Uh, come on. Look at the reputation's getting back up as well, isn't it? It's shot up by about 40 points, which is good. You can back out of there now. I'm going to pop you in the bloaty headroom. Take this guy out and pop him in here. Uh, we haven't replaced the hair restorer yet, have we? But no one's called out for it yet. So until they call out for it... Oh, they might have just called out for it now, actually. <laughs> um... Boldness, yes, of course. Doctor wanted in electrolysis. Please form orderly cues. Well, again, we've got we've got all this space to uh, put more clinics. So let's put a hair restorer here. Doctor needs two fire extinguishers. Doctor, you are. Get yourself in there. Uh, we need somebody in there, actually, don't we? Are you free? You're free. Get in there. Uh, we needed somebody in Slack Tongue as well. I just heard that one on the Tannoy. Um, they're all kind of busy now. No decent ones there. Uh, there must be some decent doctors somewhere. Surgeon, site no. Psychiatrist. Consultant. You'll do. You can be slack tongue now. Uh, jelly vat is that one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's... Let's replace that one. To employ another nurse as well. If we've got any decent nurses on the books, no, we haven't. <laughs> any decent cleaners? Yeah. We've got all the people queuing for ultra scan again, and again we have no doctor there. Um, this guy I think is decent enough for that though. Let's have him over there. Uh, results. Boom! We got a bonus of 14k for the DNA fixing, and we got a visit from a Premiership footballer. Come on down. Um, okay. Things are working well here. We haven't got any major cues for anything. 
bit for that surgery, but that's okay. I keep hearing the cheer, which is always a good sign. We've got plenty of fresh blood coming up through the system. We just need essentially $48,000 in the bank account to win the level. And of course we've got an epidemic just to throw a spanner in the works. Um, do we need these anywhere? GP's offices? No, no, no. Oh, hang on, I think we need a psychiatrist. Consultant, consultant, consultant. Where's all the psychiatrists gone? You! You're a psychiatrist. Get yourself in there, and then where's that one that I just had? Jelly bat, perfect. Uh, right. Jelly bat. Oh, hang on, no, you're needed in there. But there is also somebody needed in decontamination. Um, didn't we have somebody in one of these rooms? I tell you, no, I tell you what, I keep dumping a, consul a consultant in here. You, you'll do. What was it? He was wanted in Jelly Bat. There we go. Right, epidemic. It's Jellyitis. How appropriate. Let's uh, let's do this one. This one should be a bit easier than the one we just did. Uh, yeah, you can go straight there. They're usually all hanging around in the GP area here, aren't they? Actually, I reckon it's just that one patient. Possibly. Um... My machines are falling apart, apparently. Are they? There must be something that's smoking somewhere. Uh, oh, you need you need a doctor. Where uh, where is everyone? Hmm. So I'm gonna pull this guy out of here. Why not? It's not like we need to research much. In fact, I haven't even looked on the research screen. At least they're just doing improvements now. Uh, no, I genuinely think there was only that one patient that was contagious. I'm going to push her to the front of the queue because she's not very well. Doctors, more doctors. We need more doctors. Have we got any decent ones in here I can take out? Psychiatrists. We've got a load of surgeons now, haven't we? He's not too bad. Surgeon. He's a good though. He's a good surgeon. Um, I'm gonna take him. Where was psychiatrists needed? Must be the top one up here. Yeah. Uh, what happened to that woman that was going for treatment? I think she's been cured. Perfect. Um, somebody come in there, so we'll keep that open. Somebody come in there, so we'll keep that open. There's somebody on their way there, so we need a doctor there. Oh my god, look at that. I've just looked at the bank balance. We are literally like 15 grand away from winning the scenario. This is exciting news, folks. Exciting news. Uh, ben says, uh, just looking at your Twitter, I think I maybe first came across you via Chris Moyles. Oh, really? Interesting. Um, 
Can't believe last week marked 10 years since his final show for 81. I know. Time's just flying at the moment. I'm just really not comprehending how fast time is. I, you know, it's like it's like it's nearly two. Well, it is two and a half years since we all worked from home. <laughs> since working from home became the in thing. I've spent two and a half years cooped up in this room 24/7. Um, I enjoy it. But yeah, uh, 10 years. I have, you know what? I've not listened to Chris Moyles on Radio X in ages. I used to listen to like every show religiously. And then around about mid 2019, actually, I kind of just stopped listening. Um, I think it was the rate, it was the music that I just couldn't really get on with. If he was playing like pop music again, I'd be all over it. Um, Two surgeons required in operating another theater. one? Where are all my surgeons at? keep seeing a notification that we've got qualified surgeons, but they're all terribly qualified doctors. No, 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 no. Oh no, don't sack him. Not that bad. Um, are there any in here? This staff room is ridiculous. It's so overcrowded. Um, surgeon psych... No, he's a terrible one. He's a terrible one. We've got loads of terrible surgeon psychiatrists now. They just literally need to spend... Oh, that that's a good one. We'll have him. Uh, we need to just um, lock him away in the training room for, like, days upon end. Oh, no, there must be a handyman on the way. Come on. Where are you, you handyman? <sighs> so annoying. Uh, yes, I, I agree. Working from home has been the, the best thing from the last two and a half years. It's it's so... just fits into the way that I work, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm still doing it too. I, I spend... I spend a couple of mornings in an office if I have to. Um, other than that, it's uh, working from home. Uh, I'm going to replace this machine, because I can't be bothered waiting, and hopefully that will allow me to pop him in. There we go. Solved. Uh, Jellyitis, that's done. Hurrah. Oh my god, look. Uh, we've got seven people with baldness! It's Don Burn. Seven Don Burns. <laughs> uh, there's a Chris Miles reference. Uh, yes, we're ready to handle the emergency. Get it in. Seven bald people. Dominic Byrne. Ken Bruce. Um, Duncan Goodhue, Richard O'Brien, three more bald people, uh, Ross Kemp, Phil, Phil Mitchell, is he bald? Um, Doctor, attend immediately in cardio, please. I can't think of any other bald people. Incoming patients with baldness. They're on their way. Are we ready? Can we cope? Come on, we are nearly there now. We are nearly there. We are nearly there. Come on. Come on. Um, where can we put this? This guy. He can go back in the... Uh, he can go back in the staff... Uh, the research room. Why not? Um, what is it I do? I So I'm, a, I'm the IT guy for a company, for an events company. Um, I just look after the computers and make sure everything's running. So I've had a busy few years making sure everybody can work from home. And now that everybody can work from home, I literally just have to keep everything ticking over and make sure everything still works, which is easily done from home. Um, so yeah, my job's really easy to do from home. There are a lot of people out there that can't do their job from home, though. I know that. I'm fully, fully aware of that. Um, so I am pretty lucky in that respect. Uh, I'm going to just build... An emergency hair restoration room. Two reasons. We're about to win the scenario. And, uh... I got all this room, so it doesn't really matter, does it? What I do with it. Uh, we just need one doctor. I'm gonna take that guy. And then, let's pull some patients. From there, there we go. There's Duncan. Uh, now we just need the uh, 
the kind of scenario one thing to come across because I'm assuming we've cured all the other things haven't we reputations above 700 bank balance above half a million we treated 83 percent of our patients which is good going which is uh, about 806 and a hospital is well over the value it needs to be possibly at the end of the month it might allow us to uh, advance to the next scenario Dr. Uh, that's that one. That's a quick fix. Doctor required in decontamination. Two surgeons required in operating theatre. Two surgeons. You know, two surgeons. Not you, though. Um, <laughs> we're all a good surgeon. Oh, you know what? I don't even care. Fast forward. This is in the bag now. This is in the bag. Oh, hang on, that's on the ropes. Let's replace that. Uh, we need a doctor in there, don't we? We don't need one in there, though, so let's take that guy out. Can't reach him. Hang on, there we go. In you go. Uh, if we did have to do this scenario for a bit longer, I probably would have uh, expanded the diagnosis because we uh, we we could have had more scanners maybe. Uh, we obviously had the X-ray to add in. We obviously had lots of room for this, and we could have always got rid of some of these excess toilet blocks. We didn't need all these toilet blocks. I just had them there to block the uh, corridors. Um, There we go. Is everyone everyone's queuing for that room, but we ain't got any surgeons. Oh, we've got no surgeons in that one either. I'll tell you what then. Let's consolidate all of our surgeons into one operating theatre. And then we might as well just move everybody into this one. Again, doesn't matter, I think we're about to win the scenario. Come on! Yes! Hallelujah! Dear Tom, marvellous! You have handled the running of this hospital superbly. Us bigwigs at the Ministry of Health would like to know if you'd be interested in taking on a larger project. There's a job we think you'd be perfect for. The salary would be a rather paltry $14,710. Really? <laughs> Uh, would we like a job at Battenberg Hospital? Why not? <gasps> Is this the last scenario then? I think it might be, you know. I don't think I've ever done this. Uh, you've got the mother of all challenges now. Impressed with your success, the Ministry has got the top job for you. They want someone to build another ultimate hospital, make a vast amount of dosh and have an incredible reputation. Sounds like me. Uh, you'll also be expected to buy all the land you can, cure everything, and we mean everything, and win all the awards. Think you're up to it? Earn 650k, cure 750 people, and get a reputation of 800 to win this one. Big boy numbers. Um, oh man. So, this is, uh, I, I instantly foresee a bit of an issue with this hospital, because look, this first building is just like empty of uh, connecting rooms and oh okay oh okay oh we can probably work with we can probably work with this then so it looks like we've got lots of interconnection going on uh, down the left and down the right maybe even this way I don't know um, but instantly I'm thinking, nah, this, this building in the middle, I don't want to use this at all. I want to kind of keep everything in these side buildings. And hope and pray that there's some kind of interconnection there. I don't know. But um, I think this is the last one. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't know. We never got this far. So Battenberg Hospital is our next hospital. We are going to pause things here, though, today. Because that is a great place to stop. Uh, next time in episode 35... We'll make a start on this one and 
see what we can do. It's a shame that we don't carry all the money that we just won on the last scenario over, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, this bit, look. Let's leave them there. Have we got a helipad? Yeah, we have. It's down here. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that this, this is just going to become the staff area. Seems a shame, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, right, join me next time uh, when we play some more Theme Hospital. Um, and we'll uh, try and take on uh, this scenario back in the year 2000. Why does it always go back in time? I don't know. Uh, right, that will happen. At some point in the next few weeks, keep your eyes peeled on your YouTube feeds for Tom Plays, Theme Hospital, Episode 35, Battenberg Hospital. We're coming for you. Um, right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I am back tomorrow for another stream. It's Friday tomorrow, which means, of course, Free Play Friday. <gasps> Let's see what's coming up on that in a second. Uh, this is what's coming up on the channel next week. So, Free Play Friday tomorrow. On Monday of next week, we're going to be playing Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I think we're almost at the end of that game as well. So we might have quite a few little finishes over the next few weeks um that's monday aaron is back on tuesday with me to play overcooked 2 tuesday evening 9 p.m we've got captain toad treasure tracker next wednesday and lego city undercover is next thursday stream those are the next five streams from me if you've enjoyed it today uh why not tap that thumbs up to give this video a like and get subscribed to the channel for more like this each and every day a different stream every day quarter past five uh usually and of course, don't forget to turn on those notifications to get your little pop-up reminders popping up like that um, on your phones. Like that. Very nice. Very good. Uh, right, yeah, tomorrow is Friday. And Friday on the channel means Free Play Friday. It's the part of the week where we play something different. We play uh, a game that I'm playing in my own spare time, maybe. Something that you guys have recommended. Uh, or it could be a Forgotten Gem. Hmm, I wonder which category we're choosing this week. Uh, we're going to play a game that I remember playing fondly. It was one of like the five games I owned on the Dreamcast. Remember that one? Uh, we are going to be playing tomorrow, Crazy Taxi. Um, we're going to be playing uh, a kind of a re-released version, I think, that came out on the PC. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm, enjoy I'm going to enjoy this one. This one's got quite a good soundtrack as well, actually. And watch it live, because it might get taken down by the copyright police uh, if you watch it afterwards. But um, tomorrow, quarter past five, 23rd of September, 2022, we're going to be playing Crazy Taxi. Who knows how it may go? I don't know. Looking forward to that one anyway. That's tomorrow at quarter past five. There you go. Right. Thank you for watching. More Theme Hospital soon. And Crazy Taxi tomorrow. What a time to be alive. Uh, I'll see you all the next time when I play games. Goodbye. <laughs>